Sportsman TV. We're in Lafitte, Louisiana. The target, redfish on Niemeyer Spoon. Got him, buddy. There you go. How's that, Captain? Pretty good for the first cast. Captain Todd pulls us up in this spot this morning. Hey, we're in Lafitte. I'm Kevin Ford. This is Louisiana Sportsman TV. Pulls us up to a spot. He says, man, I think I got some redfish down in this bank down here. And here we are, Lafitte, Louisiana. Redfish on Niemeyer Lures. This week on Louisiana Sportsman TV. Good that fun. Fish, that cow. Nice one, buddy. He was on there and I didn't even know it. <laughs> yeah. Boy, they are pretty in this water. Really pretty. Nice fish. The thing about it, you get in brackish water like this and you start catching these reds. I'll tell you, you've got to, you know, we're sight fishing these fish right now, and you've got to have some pretty good vision, because Todd's like, there's a fish right there. I'm like, where? He's like, cast right there. So uh, it takes a little bit of science to do this And sometimes. you put it right there, they will hit it. As you yeah. Just oh, see, yeah. I mean, if you put it right, right there, there, they're going to hit it. They hit the old chartreuse Nehemiah right there, man. Yeah. Your red ripper, man. Ripped. ripped. We'll get some more of that going, guys. I mean, this redfish all in here right now. We just got to get them to eat. I'm right over them, Amazing. and I'm right in them. See right back just under the surface right yeah. there. Just, I was just talking about them tail, and then a little tail stuck right there. That you was, know, we're so... That was great. Everything we can do here, this is a fun way to catch redfish. You can go sit down and get a dead piece of shrimp and a pop and cork and catch him with the sight fishing on artificial baits, these Niemeyer lures, it is a lot of fun. You ready for me, Kevin? Or you no, want to I'm going to get him over here. There we go. Ready? There he is. All right, man. Whew. He's pretty. It's about 10 pounds, huh? Might have to get me one of these uh, chartreuse Niemeyer's right here in a minute, man. <laughs> this is something else. You know, I sell these things on the boat. Oh, you did? Yeah, I, I sell them when I'm, I give them away at the dock, and when I start catching fish, the price goes. <whistles> you know, we're, we're back here really fishing on the inside, but even though we're on the inside side, you get a lot of big reds like this down here on the inside. Oh yeah, you'll get them up to 15 pounds or so. The typically uh, 10 or 12 pounds, they start heading to the Gulf, as everybody knows, but uh, sometimes they're cruising through here. You'll get some pretty big reds in here. Yeah, and, they, and, and sometimes, I mean, in, a, in the same school of fish, Sometimes you may have fish like this, and you may have 17, 18 inches. Right, right. Ooh. How beautiful is that? <laughs> there he is. I just had a feeling that, that looked like a good spot. Yeah. And he came and hit it. Not as big as the school we just were on. Man, we just got on a nice school of fish, and. Chad threw right on Todd. Chad didn't throw on top of him. Chad's letting us catch fish. Todd threw right on top of these fish, and he hooked one, and he got off. And we thought we'd catch a couple of them, but I just threw in there and got us on a little smaller one here. Whoa. He's trying to go to the... Boy, he's pretty. Nice little 18-incher. Yeah. Another good eating fish. I didn't, uh, I just kind of threw in there at that one. Didn't see him. It seems like the ones that we see are the bigger ones and they're not hitting as aggressively. Right, exactly. And then some of these smaller fish are being a little bit more aggressive. Yeah. Tell you Pretty what, fish. the Red Ripper Chartreuse, half ounce from Niemeyer Lures, is doing the trick today. Great bait. They work really, really good. Have good action in the water and these reds like them. Notice he's the only one with a red rip of chartreuse half ounce. I've been trying, I'm telling you, the price is 20 You ready, bucks. Chad? You ready to get one right now? <laughs> there he is. See ya. You know what? I need to That's a little better. I need to trim that motor down, Chad, if you could. Right now, I'm just throwing into the shoreline. 
This red's coming right at me. I think he's a little bit, I thought he was a little bit bigger than this. That's, that, I think that's, that is a pretty good red. Yeah. Yeah, he just realized he was hooked. He has just figured out he was hooked. You know, when you're fishing redfish, you, oh, don't, no, 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 not, not under the boat. Not that way. There you go. Yeah, he's figured out he was hooked. When you're fishing these reds and you're in the wind, you don't want to get on the lee shore line. You want to get where this wind's blowing. It pushes that bait fish up there. And sometimes when you can't see them, just make some blind cast in an area that looks good where the wind's blowing, and you can catch it. It wants to get hung up in the trolling motor. There we go. You did it again, Kevin. Thank you, sir. About a 24 inches, huh? About that, 23, 24. Looking right at this. There he is. There you go, beautiful, Kevin. Way to go, buddy. Boy, you could just see him come hit it. Right. Oh, yeah. Very right, good night. Very that nice. That was nice. Rip right there. That was worth it, man. Thank you for that. No problem. In the shallow, shallow water, it's a little bit clean. You can just see him. And that redfish, I was just putting that bait right on top of the water, and he just out of nowhere, he came and hit it. And the rest, we hope, is history. They are liking the chartreuse today. There's no question about that. He's fat, huh? Yeah, nice fish. If you don't have one, you better go get one.